What is up you guys? It's Nita. I am so cute today. <laughs> the block is hot. That's the third cop I done seen in like two seconds. Okay, so going to see my friends. We're going out to eat. We're going to this place in Memphis called Sage. I need to look up the address because I don't know how to get there. But first, I need to get gas. That's the sound of the police. I honestly hate being here. I don't like coming to the city city for real. Like what the, I'm getting vertigo looking at this. That's all you can see, tall ass buildings. Oh, that's a car. Where are the gr where's the grass? What if the apocalypse happened right now? Girl, I wouldn't survive. Zombie apocalypse, I wouldn't survive this. It's too much. What is this? I am not a city girl. Welcome back to the channel. Looking very glowy, very radiant today. Um, <laughs> today, I guess I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about what's been going on with my life. Just in case anybody knows, like anybody knows, anybody wants to know, anybody's nosy. First big update, I know y'all see the hair. Is it a vibe? I, <laughs> I did this. This is all me. I struggled for like 13 hours to do this. And it wasn't consecutive. I think I started from, I started Friday night and I did the first like six at the bottom. Saturday morning, I woke up and I did the perimeter and then Saturday evening, I finished it. I'm so proud of this. I've never done braids like this before and they're long. Wait, look, they're like, let me pull them all to the front. And they're long. Look at this. Look at this. Ugh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I hope they last for a long time. I can't keep my hands out of them. <sighs> they're cute. Okay. Sadly, I didn't record enough to make a whole video. So next time I do my hair, I, I, I will record it. I promise. I just... I just I just wanted to be done. I didn't know how they were gonna turn out because last time I did like like medium box braids, they didn't they didn't look good. They were really really heavy. They didn't like taper at the bottom, so they were like thick all the way through. They were heavy and they were really they were bigger than this, but like they didn't need to be. It was just a mess. What really helped me, I think, is I used pre stretched hair. So let me straight. This is the hair that I used. It's from a uh, free trip. Reaches braid 301. I don't know, but this is the hair. I feel like they helped. So, what else? Oh, my nails. Wow, that's not straight. <laughs> They're press ons, so I glued them on myself and they don't look straight. So, let me turn them this way. But they're so pretty. And I actually really love this shape. I don't, what do you call this? Like a, it's not a coffin. Like a, is it a claw? I don't know. I love this. This is really cute. I had some press-ons last week, but I wore them to work and they all popped off. I took my time with these. Hopefully these don't pop off. Like as soon as I get to work tomorrow. We're gonna see. Oh, let me give y'all a job update. I really like my job. I really do. I've never, I have never in my life ever liked my job. So this is new to me. The only downside about it I feel like, um, well, I don't know if y'all know what I do. I am a behavioral therapist for children with autism. So, love my job. Very fulfilling. Love the kids. Literally, literally love the kids. <laughs> and I work in a clinic setting. So, my coworkers are amazing. Um, funny as hell, but amazing. The BCBAs I work with, if you know anything about ABA therapy, you know they're, um, BCBAs who basically make the treatment plans and then the RBTs, which, which is what I do, I'm an RBT, who implement those treatment plans with the patients. So the BCBAs I work with are cool. Um, center managers cool. The other RBTs and the other BTs are cool. Like, I really like the job. <laughs> of course, there are still my mornings where I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to get up and go to work. But after I leave every day, I always feel very fulfilled. So... <laughs> I am debating, very much debating, 
going back to school yeah i don't know though i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm only putting it out here like on the internet so that i can look back on this later like a year from now and be like wow you really did that or wow why didn't you do that and judge myself that's literally the only reason i'm putting that out there oh only downside the only downside to the job it's not the only downside but it's kind of the biggest one at the moment the little kids be a little nasty so <laughs> I'm literally always sick. Y'all know kids. They, mm, 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 oh, 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 you know, so they, uh, mm, you know. That's probably the only thing I'm, I've, I've been working there for like almost three months. I get sick at least once a month. It's like, uh, but it's also like, eh, you know, I don't know. I like it. And I wish I could tell y'all like all about my kids, but I, I can't. <laughs> but at this point though, I kind of feel like I should start making like day in the life of like an RBT video type videos. Cause I watch those literally just to get bobs from other RBTs. So we'll see. Those might be coming soon. It was just clean in here. And now this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing them the the disaster and the culprit. <laughs> yeah, I'm the culprit, but you don't want to, you know, mess with me. I got these gains on me, bro. So ooh, 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 oh, you look buff. Why you look so buff? He really be working out, y'all. He really be in the gym for real. Doing brother's hair. For sure. Mm -hmm.